The next gait is the spastic diplegic gait. In this particular gait, both lower extremities are affected, and the lower extremities are affected more than the upper extremities. So the posture, the position in this particular gait is there's flexion at the hips, flexion at the knees, and the feet or the ankles are extended and internally rotated, and this and the um, was also uh, tight adductors. So there's adduction at the knees. So it is a swinging gait with both sides, both lower extremities. You can hear a different pattern in the hemiparetic gait. But this is not all. The upper extremities are also involved. Again, not as much as the hemiparetic gait. But for the upper extremities, the extremity is carried in a, in a low guard or a mid guard position, and you don't have the normal associated movements in the upper extremity. So this would be the type of posture and type of position that one would see for the spastic diplegic.